Adam here from the Walzer Automotive Group, and next to me here is the all-new Mazda CX-90. So what I want to do is compare it today to another third-row SUV, that being the all-new Subaru Ascent. So what we'll do is cover some interior features, some cool stuff on the outside, and just a general overview of both vehicles. Okay, so let's begin with the CX-90. Now, this is the 3.3 inline-six turbocharged engine, which is gonna get you 28 miles per gallon on the highway. For a third-row SUV, that's some pretty awesome gas mileage, and you'd probably be looking at about 25 overall. Now, as far as the looks on this one, this is the Artisan Red Metallic. So it's Mazda's newest color, and it is a gorgeous color out here in the sun. Now, like I mentioned, this is the premium package, so it's kind of a mid-level where you can work your way up with different wheels, different grills, different options on the exterior. But with the aluminum roof rails and this gorgeous artisan red color, this is definitely a premium looking vehicle. We'll jump over, we'll look at the exterior on the Subaru Ascent. Okay, so now on to the competition. This is the 2023 Subaru Ascent. Now, this one here is a limited with a different option pack on it, so it's gonna be pretty similarly equipped. Now for the engine or the power plant, this is a 2.5 liter boxer engine, and this vehicle is symmetrical all wheel drive. So what that means, like the Mazda where it can shut it off, this is constantly going to be in the all wheel drive. Now you have over eight inches of ground clearance. So maybe if you're doing a little bit of off-roading, gravel roads, you like camping, this might be the better option for that. But on the exterior of this vehicle, this is the black silica, and it looks so cool with these 20 inch wheels. It really does set this vehicle nicely with the chrome and a few other accents. So like I said, the limited trim we have here is gonna be a little bit different than the base model as far as the face and some of the exterior appointments around the vehicle. Okay, so now in the driver's seat of the CX-90, again, this is the black interior with that kind of bronze stitching, and you've got this cool kind of silver aluminum look that follows through from the rear to the front. It's gorgeous in here. It's very well thought out. Everything is laid out where you want it to be. So you've got heated seats. As you move the, the lineup, you're gonna also have the ventilated seats. You're gonna have your infotainment screen. So this one is gonna have Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto, and there's also a heads-up display. So Mazda doesn't want you focused here, they want you focused on the road, which makes sense if you look at the slim screen, the heads-up display, all the safety equipment in here. It really does make you feel safe that there's not so many distractions. So if we compare this to the Subaru Ascent, both are gonna have all-wheel drive, both are gonna get pretty good fuel economy, this one feels a little more premium on the inside. The design is a little more forward. The Subaru, you know it's gonna work. If you're doing off-roading, if you're going camping a lot, I think the Subaru might be a better option. If you're bopping around town, you want a little extra space, a little extra maybe niceties inside, maybe this is the better option for you there. Okay, so in the driver's seat of the Subaru Ascent, pretty similar seats. These ones have kind of a gray stitching. Again, both black interiors look really good. You can do the air-conditioned seats if you jump up to the touring trim. This has the heated seats, which now for the new model is right on the screen. So I can just click it right there. Super easy, straightforward. You don't have to go through a bunch of menus. One thing I did prefer on the CX-90 was just the physical buttons. It, there is buttons for your air conditioning. One of the things that's really cool is you do have voice control. So you can actually click that and control a few things through just the voice. So you are paying attention on the road. It's gonna have that blind spot monitoring. It's gonna have cross traffic alert. All the same safety features pretty much that the CX-90 had will come in this vehicle. The camera is really cool. I like that there's one button here for the 360 camera. So if you're trying to back into a campsite, if you're at that busy grocery store, you can see everything around you. It's really cool. It's really easy to use. I like the driving position, I think a little bit more in the Subaru Ascent. For me personally, it's a little bit more comfortable. That one again did feel a little bit more premium where this feels a little more rugged. It just doesn't scream luxury like that, but it is very comfortable. So, in conclusion, putting it all together, when we have the CX-90 and we have the Subaru Ascent, they're gonna be different vehicles that can do the same thing. Now, this is gonna have a little bit more of a premium feel to it. Maybe if you're not ever planning on going off-road, this is gonna be an excellent option. Now, the Subaru, if you just wanna throw it in, maybe you're into hiking, biking, that's gonna have a little more ground clearance, a little more ruggedness for maybe some of that off-road usage. It's really a toss-up. I guess it depends on what you're looking for, but that was just a quick overview on both of these vehicles. Now, if you want more information, you can visit us at walzer.com. Stop on in any one of our locations. We'd be happy to help.